Today is a rather overcast and cloudy day. We've had a couple of weeks of very unusual rainy weather here where I'm at. And, uh, you know, when it's cloudy, you don't get a lot of sunshine. But, you know, I just want to show you how this works, even if it is cloudy. So let's go on inside here and look at the inverter. Okay, this is a 3000 watt inverter. And uh, as you can see, even though it's just really, really bad and overcast outside, I'm still getting around 500 watts out of it. You can see my little watt hour meter turning there. See the little black stripe? It's going pretty slow. But I'm still getting something. So the point of all this is that even on a very, very overcast day, you still get something. Now I have another inverter. Let's go check that one. Here's just another shot of how cloudy and overcast it is. I'm not sure you can see that. You can see the dark black clouds. We are not getting any sunshine. And here are the solar panels. It's very, very overcast and very cloudy today. And it's raining. You can probably hear the raindrops hitting something over there. Now this is the other inverter that I have. Oops, and uh, I'm, let me cycle through it here. Now, this one you have to knock on it to make it change pages. So there's, that tells you the voltage level and, uh, and this one. Now look at all the CO2 I've saved. Isn't that wonderful? That's how much power we're producing. 649 watts. 650 watts. So, that plus 500, we're still getting about 1,000 watts out of the system today. Even though it's just really, really overcast.